All right. Let's go tap. Let's All do right. it. Who you I'm, I'm Yarts, actually. No, <laughs> I won't even go there. I'm Tapioca. I'm playing Razor Freestyle Scooter. Um, this game is so good. I love it. Um, <laughs> it's, I'm, it's late. I'm tired. Um, so I'm going to be playing as Chad because he's my boy. Um, we love you, Chad. I'm going to play no, Blue Scooter because I love him. He's my boy. Ami's the one. What worst. about Ant? Oh. We're going to play Blue Scooter because it's canon, and timer is going to start when I select my level in uh, three, two, one, and go. Let's, Woo! Let's go, dude. Here's your plot, by the way. This is really important. Make sure you remember that. All right, nailed the important things. This is Razor Freestyle Scooter, as I already said. Uh, as you can see, it's basically just Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, except with a scooter. Um, <laughs> someone <laughs> saw the similarity between Skater and Scooter, and the, the money was just too good to pass up, so here we are. Um, the way this game's gonna work is we got three of these main levels that each have six goals. Once I do each of the six goals in these three main levels, it's gonna unlock six bonus levels, and then once I do them, the game's over. So the six goals are to get a high score, getting a higher score, a uh, high score on one combo, 10 big combos to get 100 bonus seconds, uh, grind a certain distance, and uh, get all the wheels. So most of those goals, if they sound like they overlap with each other, it's because they do. Uh, all the score ones pretty much unlock at the same time. It's great design. So really, we're just trying to go through the level doing 10 large combos while collecting all of the wheels. That's what I've been doing so far, and it's been pretty good. Um, I'm gonna get to the end of this level pretty soon. I'm a combo short, which is unfortunate. But I'm always gonna end... Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, that's fine. I'm always gonna end each level a little bit short on combos and grind distance. So to make up for that... Oh, wow, this is going great. Uh, to make up for that, I'm gonna have to do a bit of grinding of combos and distance at the end. Um, and for that, I have some speed tech. Uh, well, speed tech in quotes. Um, I've already done it twice, actually, if you haven't noticed. Um, if you look at the bottom of the screen as I do this, it's giving me credit for a backflip, but like, I don't know about you, I'm not seeing any backflips. Uh, we can cancel the backflip, as it turns out, with either a bonk animation or a grind. Um, Yards tells me to call this the, the tap slap, but I don't want to do that. We came up with a name earlier today. No, so it's, it's not the tap slap. It's, no, it's, it's the not the tap slap. It is the tap slap. Yards, be quiet. So, <laughs> there's my grind distance. <laughs> We're moving on. Next level. <laughs> Woo! Hey, I got the other hard thing. <laughs> there are a couple hard things in this game. None of them look hard, so I'm not gonna point them all out because that just makes me look like a nerd. <laughs> but trust me, I'm, wow, that's okay. That's kind of bad. Um, this is School's Out. This is level two. Um, if you guessed that School's Out ends with a Z, you would guess correct. The Z is very important for the extreme sports genre. Oh boy, it's also not a combo. I'm gonna be pretty short, actually, at the end of this level. That intro is a bit of a disaster. I rerouted that recently. Right. And if you're listening to the game right now, you're probably thinking, wow, this was a great hard rock soundtrack. And um, That's probably what you're thinking. Yeah, probably what you're thinking. And you're like, oh, I played Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Those are the most iconic like games or uh, music and games, like best soundtrack, whatever. He rocked. Right. Yeah, these uh, developers probably hired their local high school band to record all of the music. So this is so this is the N64 version, which is a port of a PS1 game. The PS1 version does have a licensed punk rock soundtrack featuring a lot of bands no one's ever heard of. Um, there's a lot of self-promotion for them in the, uh, hang on. There we go. <laughs> there's a lot of promotion for them in the manual, so Tap. I think they might have been paid with that. Wheels. Wheels? Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Yemo. Are you Yemo? No. Well, <laughs> thank you anyway, Yemo. I told Yemo to tell me if I missed the wheels, and, uh, oh, I know what wheels they are. Glass pane, yeah. Uh, is it the glass pane? Oh, yeah, it is the glass, glass pane. Okay, I have to go back then. So, um, the trick that he just did that we definitely real life enthusiastically clapped for is the hardest trick in the entire run. They weren't supposed to know that. Oh. They were just Spoilers. supposed to clap. Come on, guys. Sorry. That jump was hard. Well, trust we, me. We clapped Didn't already? you listen when he told us to do that? I didn't read this. Before. I'm now failing to jump into this window. This window oh, is the worst. Get me up there. This okay, window great. Is actually, really hard. I missed hard. these two wheels at the start of the level and didn't even notice. What's my grind distance right now? Um, let's just check that. And that is wow. That's like 697. Okay, 700. Good. We're out of there. Okay, got it. Hopefully that was enough. Otherwise, my run's going over estimate. 
We're good though, now moving on the clock tower. We've had a very steady progression in danger from the scooter park to the school, and now we're just on top of buildings. Um, don't worry about it too much. Chad could fall to his death here. Hopefully he won't. Uh, we'll save that for later in the run. Pretty much the same deal as the other two levels, though. This is really great stuff. If uh, you want to read, like, a donation or two, that would be lovely. I always want to read a donation or Hell two. Hell yeah. Mobile Keys with $10. Hi, Tapio. Hey, I know him. Mobile! Good luck on the run. Put this towards the runner's choice. Also, can the couch introduce themselves? Oh, I never did that. Yeah. Uh, They're I'm all yards. yards. I am the second place runner. I'm Muck1000. I'm the third place runner. I'm Jimo underscore, and Randy is given the practice run. He <laughs> <laughs> never played this until a couple hours ago. You're literally looking at three fourths of the entire speedrun doc. Yeah, yeah and the last one, the yeah. last one is right over there. Yeah, so. you can see him on the back couch if he could wave. All of the speedrun.com leaderboard is here. The whole this game well. is just popping. <laughs> it's popping. The whole community showed up for Razor Freestyle Scooter. That was not a cue to applause, but thanks, guys. <laughs> you are the community. So if you kind of thought to yourself, like, wow, I really wish a number gener a random number generator would kind of determine whether or not I could jump, uh, then look no further for this game, because that is definitely the case. Yeah, I actually tasked this as well. Um, <laughs> that's the thing that I did. And what I found out when I tasked this game is that the amount of time between when you jump and when you actually jump is random. So that's great. Thank you for that. That's Hopefully I won't fall off the end of any uh, any ramps later. That could happen. And I'll totally blame the game if that happens. Or blame Chad. Oh, yeah. Bl always blame Chad. Not the game. It's Chad's fault. He's in control here. All right, we're out. I think... Oh, whoops, wrong level. <laughs> okay, we're not going back there. We're not going back there. I have everything. Okay, moving on. So now we're done with the three main levels and we're on to the Sky Fortress. Uh, this time, think back to our five-second plot from the beginning of the game. We got to... Uh, we gotta save our friends from the evil robot or whatever. Uh, this is the evil robot's lair. It's a sky fortress. Uh, there are six of these. You'll notice that three of them look kind of similar. Um, that's that's a coincidence. They they're are. different levels. No, they're they're different. Um, no, they have like droppy blocks. This one, no, they're the same. They're this. No, they're different. That's what I'm going with. Actually, those are called tap blocks. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> just don't. Just Good don't one. Muck. I'm sorry. No, I like you're I not luck. You're yards. No. But this is going great. Do you have I'm a grabbing tap the wheel. On the tap blocks? There is no tap There's slapping no tap anywhere. Slapping. We only need to get the wheels in these, <laughs> in these levels. There's no score. I I have to read this donation right now. Okay. Yeah. Go definitely. Cat uh -huh. donates ten dollars and says, "Why am I still awake?" <laughs> <laughs> We're That's all... what I was asking. Yeah. Yo, same. I went yeah. to Walgreens and bought some candy so I could stay up for this. Yep. This is the first of the three totally not the same levels, though. Um, I'm actually doing these Sky Fortresses backwards because of a quirk of the menuing. Um, we quit out to main menu between each of the three main levels, and then it just works out that we should go backwards through the rest of them. So we're going from the hardest one to the easiest one, as far as what the developers intended. Um, the actual difficulty is going to vary, though. So that jump is kind of obnoxious. It's very precise. All right, great. So moving right along, Sky Fortress 4. Nothing has changed about the main character, by the way. This is completely normal. Oh, I missed that wheel. That's, that jump's a little tough. Well, I'll just go back for it later. This and three are like the two really terrible ones. Um, I I've done like a thousand attempts of this, and <laughs> it's I have so much dedication to the scooter. Okay, but like I've done about a thousand attempts, and so many have died to that wheel right there. That wheel claims another victim at GDQ. Clearly, we're good though. Just a scooting monkey. By, By the, the way, way, we just unlocked Tito Ortiz of UFC fame. Uh, he's in this game. I do not know why. <laughs> that might mean something to someone. I didn't recognize him until I was told. I'm not but sure I he But I think knows. he's famous, and he's in this <laughs> yeah, game. Yeah, that's so true. Probably. I've been told he's a famous person. Great. Sort of lost my speed on the bowl. That's not cool. I intentionally skip a wheel at the start of this level because if I grab the last wheel up on the rail, I would have to fall to my death and wait for that. But otherwise, I can just come grab that one at the end, and that's great. We can save the monkeys. We're saving animals. That's like a GDQ thing, right? I think we're supposed to do I've that at GDQ. I've yeah. never heard of it either. I don't know where I came up yeah, with that. That's where I put my money. Save the monkey. Of course. 
Archie donates five dollars. Get him, Takayoka. Get him. Yo, what's up, Archie? <laughs> My dude. Wow, it's a pizza. Donates $100. Go tapioca. We love jalapenos. I see. <laughs> That's my parents, by the way. Oh, I, shout out to the They parents. told me they had a great username planned, and that's that's really underwhelming. Wow! <laughs> I may not have heard it completely, but I'm underwhelmed. What a way to say, I love you, Mom and Dad. <laughs> I do, though. All right. I love you, Mom. <laughs> this is the last level, though. Once I beat this level, we're going to get the exciting conclusion to the plot, and then the game is going to be over, and time is going to stop when it says I win. You'll you'll be able to see it, but I'll call it as well. If you, I, I trust you've never seen this level before, though. I promise this. This is a completely unique level. This is Unlike seven. anything you've seen in all of Razor Freestyle Scooter before. I would remember this. Oh, yeah. The you would wheels remember are this design. slightly more orange in this level. They, well, <laughs> on this TV, these wheels are very orange. I'm not used to all this color. It's like blowing my eyes out. <laughs> it's good, though. We're done. We're done in nine seconds. Uh, uh, final, uh, uh, final uh, uh, dead uh, uh, monkey. And there we go. This is, uh, time's gonna come up in just a moment. Here's the thrilling conclusion. Of course, let's scoot. And Thanks that's being bid, baby time. <laughs> Good run, dude. 10.52 is pretty solid. I'm not bad. I'm not going to lie. That's still better than the second best run. I'm not going to lie. It's a good run. Hey, thanks for letting <laughs> the fine viewers of the world, let the, uh, the world let them know that I'm just in second place. He is in second place. It's like a 12 minute or something. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get this. Anyway, I gotta wrap it up. I gotta wrap it up. I gotta wrap it up. Just brief <laughs> shout outs to PMC Trilogy who dared me to run this. Um, I really didn't anticipate playing this for eight months. I, why'd I do that? Um, if you at home want to run this game, uh, don't. Do. We don't have a community. There's no Discord. Don't run this game. Just <laughs> hard bail. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm, I'm heading out now, I guess. Scoot out. <laughs> Thank you, Tapioca, for that. It was fun, I think. Pop-Tart Cat $20 is so late, but you know I gotta stay up for Tapioca on a scooter. Good luck with the run, man. Galaxy Singer donates five schmeckles and says, I would love to hear Patty telling I donated five schmeckles. You all are so amazing. Thanks, Galaxy Singer. River, thanks for the $10. Love AGDQ, saw the cause this year and knew I had to try and catch it live. You're doing amazing work. Thanks, River. Zerion donates $20, long time watcher, first time donating. My mother was diagnosed with cancer several years ago and thankfully won the battle. Here's hoping nobody else has to go through this. Cheers to everyone. Cheers to you, Zerion. We got an anonymous $100 donation with no comment, just straight cash. Thank you. Zine donated $20, been looking forward to this GDQ for months now. Going fast is always fun. Bjorn Means Bear with $15. Hello, AGDQ. Longtime watcher and donator here. Had to donate while Patty, that's me, is still on the mic. Let's smash that SGDQ 19 goal and reach at least $3.5 million. We got that easy. Greetings from Germany. Mez with the 25 smackaroonies. Woo! Spud with the $10. $10 for 10 years. Thanks for all the awesome runs. Hey, Brasky, thanks for the $100. No comment on that one, but we appreciate it. <laughs> Martin donates $20.
Rogers. Good morning from Denmark. Have my 20 and a great day. Looking forward to a week of running. That sounds exhausting. Oh, speed running. Okay, that makes more sense. Sandshark donates $15 and says, I had a really good time watching that run. Will any other game match the awesomeness of Razor Scooters? Also, shout out to Floppy Hat Lady. Flop those ears. Shout out to Floppy Hat Lady. Flop those, there it is, okay. We got, we got her attention now. <laughs> Damon with $10. My head is spinning at how much I'm enjoying this speed run. I guess you could say it's really good. It, anyone? Anyone? Sorry, Damon. No one. Not a soul. Next time, though, you'll get them. Yib donates $10. Greetings from the fellas in the Razor Freestyle Scootin' community. Good luck, and thanks for all the rad scootin' you've been doing. Speaking of scootin', I am scootin' right through these donations. I don't even have to scroll anymore. Let's get some donations in for me to read, huh? The guys at the donation station are getting bored. They're just sitting over here. Give them something to do. Come on, everybody. Zegerman Shepard donates $50 Hey there, AGDQ. Greetings.